Hi, K the one here, and welcome to another episode of another special episode of Week at a Glance. Hello, Andrew. I'm glad to have you in this episode today. Andrew is from the US of A. Now, first tell us about your channel. And I mean you in plural, because if you've seen any of their videos, then you'll hear other voices in the background. Now tell us about you guys, your channel, and what it is that you do on the internet. Hey, Kiyo Devani, I want to thank you so much for having us on your, um, your video today. We are Advent Blueprint. And what we try to do on the internet is we're trying to become YouTubers to engage um, young Christian audiences, to give them actually some content that's engaging, thought-provoking, that actually interests them. Um, and that's kind of our mission here on Advent Blueprint. Interesting and something engaging. You guys are already doing it with your really high-budget videos. Recently, my father-in-law and I started a ministry. And do you know how difficult it is to come up with a ministry name? Try and come up with a name and type it online. I'm pretty sure that that name is already taken. And to come up with something beautiful demands, demands like thorough research and also brainstorming. If this name wasn't taken yet, Advent Blueprint, oh, I wish I, I had come up with it. How did you guys come up with this? amazing ministry name. I just love it. Now tell me the story behind it. Well, Keo, that's actually a really, really good question, but I am merely the face of the Advent Blueprint. So I'm going to introduce to you some of the brains behind Advent Blueprint. Not again. Right. Thanks for teleporting the chair this time. It's just in the middle of the great edit. So why am I here? No, why am I here? Oh, uh, you're talking about Advent Blueprint, like the uh, name, how we came up with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we live? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so how we came up with the <laughs> Advent Blueprint name. It really was quite the um, journey. We went through quite a few different names and uh, then finally, me and Jefferson decided, well, you know, that seems to be the one that kind of encompasses the vision that we have for this channel, where it's talking about, you know, the Adventist message and also the blueprint that God gives us for his second Advent. Thank you, Andrew, for that explanation, because actually I wasn't even a part of Advent Blueprint or the name selection or anything like that. That was all of the brains um, of the operation, which, like I said before, I'm just the face. There was a lot of hours. There was a lot of work put into that name. I am well aware of, though. Even though I wasn't present, I heard all about it. Um, and so we're just really excited that we kind of landed on this name, as Andrew said, that kind of just encompasses our mission here at Advent Blueprint. Now I know the story behind your ministry name, and I believe that it also encompasses the message that we have as a church. The first time I checked your channel, I was immediately hooked by, the, by these amazing intros. I said to myself, maybe um, that is something that they just did in this single episode. So I watched and watched and watched more episodes. And then I realized that it's in all of your videos. Amazing intros. You guys are like the king of intros. So how do you come up with these interesting intros? Reveal to us your secret. Oh, man. I gotta come up with intro ideas. Intro ideas are so hard to come up with. It's so hard to come up with them on my own. That's really, oh, I know. I don't have to come up with them on my own. I can give, uh, give my uh, friend Jefferson a call here. Dude, what are you doing? I'm right here, we're right yeah. here. Well, you guys weren't really helping me with my struggle before, so well, just ask. I, you don't need to call I, us. I guess we're too busy on our phones. Maybe. Yeah, well. I guess you're right. <sighs> Intros. Let's talk about that. Oh, no, we got to go faster. Thank you. You're welcome. 
This is really messed up. I'm sorry. Too much, too much messiness. Hello. I'm here to explain intros and how the creative side actually happens. So it's not just one person, which is why we're doing all of the changes and things here. We decided to add a little bit of our personality and what we do to kind of reflect how we think. So it's very interesting. <laughs> we, we made an intro showing how hard it is sometimes to come up with an intro. And how we normally do it is with the help of all of us here. It's very difficult, as you can imagine, to come up with something different every time. So we're always brainstorming, even at times talking for hours during the week to come up with multiple intros and ideas. Sometimes they won't work, and so we'll use it for other um, lessons or other videos. So that, to me, is what I enjoy. I'm a creative person, so I just want to infuse that, right? And so with um, me and Andrew and um, other Andrew, and then the host, Andrew, he comes in more with the information and um, a lot of the study in the background, and we have that too, so we're always brainstorming. But one thing that we bring to the table is that creative side, which is why you saw him talking that way and calling. So that's what we try to do. The collaboration is important, and the creativity is essential. We want to merge those two things. We want to have the creative side working with the truth, with the um, understanding, with that knowledge, so we can put the two together to make it interesting. So that's how we come up with the intros. Hey, 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 Jefferson, nice to see you, man. Nice to get to know you. And also the the way you, you come up with these really cool intros. And I'm pretty sure that you guys working as a team, collaborating, and all of these creative stuff that you do, that in the future there will be more creative intros and outputs that you can make to create really quality videos. Now, aside from the intros, the content that you make is also really good. Now let's talk about the content in your videos. Walk us through the process of preparing the talking points for the videos. How do you review the lesson and how do you decide which points to highlight? Now you're speaking about my alley work, uh, Keo. I kind of, how we kind of came up with this studying the lesson and kind of what it looks like is at first we didn't really know obviously what we were doing we we're trying it out for the very first time and so when you go back and look at you know some of our very first episodes it's it's a little rough um, I'm a little rough in front of a camera to be honest um, you know but it was kind of over time that we kind of developed actually a formula where now when I go to the lesson it doesn't take me super long to kind of study the lesson because what we're designing here, what we're trying to do is encourage people to read the lesson for themselves. That's really the goal with Sabbath School Short is that we just don't want to like feed information to people that encourages them like, I got everything. I don't need to read the lesson. That's not our goal. Our goal is to skim over the main points so that it sparks an interest within, within their hearts to actually go read the lesson for themselves. And so what we kind of developed here is that I kind of go through each day and I kind of read really quickly, kind of get the main point of the day, and then find a quote within that day that I highlight and say, this kind of encapsulates the main idea of this day. And then kind of in our old format of Sabbath School Short, what we would do is we just take that quote of the day, briefly um, kind of just talk about the main point of the day and then go through all the days. But now we've kind of transitioned into this new format where we take really only three main points that we want to take away from the lesson um, and use illustrations to try to provoke critical thinking within the viewer um, as they're watching. And so those three main points doesn't encapsulate the entire lesson but kind of encapsulates three main points that we think are really important. So in that way, the people that are watching are like, wow, these are some really good points. I kind of want to read the lesson for myself now and see what more I can gather. So that's kind of the, the way that I study the lesson in preparation for Sabbath School Short and filming, is I kind of read through the lesson, grab a main point from each day, and then figure out which main points do we really want to emphasize that will spark the person's interest that's watching so they will go read the Sabbath School lesson for themselves and discover the great things hidden within the Sabbath School lesson. And yes, Andrew, I also noticed the transition. You used to like break it down to these five main points and then, uh, not five main points actually, but the five different days and then five different codes or Bible texts. And now it's a different format. You have like three main points. Hmm, very similar to someone else's video. Yes, because I also do three main points, but then your videos, you, you just spice it up to another level. You have these, all these beautiful illustrations and it's really very engaging, I must say. And the team behind you, whoo, they are just really good. So you belong to a team and your friends 
um, Andrew and Jefferson. They are responsible for the shooting and also for the post-production. Now, talk about your recording process for a minute. How does it look like? I'm, I'm pretty sure that many of our audience are very interested to know or to, to get to see how it looks like behind the scenes. So give us a tour. Keo, that's a really good uh, question that I actually can't answer because I'm not the brains behind that side of it. When, I, when they record me, um, I don't see it again until it's posted on YouTube later. So the real brains behind this operation are actually standing right behind the camera. Um, these, are the, these are the real guys that kind of do Hello. everything um, else. What's up? And there's Andrew there. Hello. What's up, Andrew? How you doing? Oh. Ah. I'm holding the camera. <laughs> you are holding the camera. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to tell them a little bit about? Yeah, what so basically kind of what, what happens is we're here recording. You can see this is very planned out in a certain way, even though it's kind of messy. We have a lot of things that we use as props and other stuff. Right. But with all of this, we are still planning this so we can record as efficiently as possible, we never cut the camera when recording, so it can be one seamless timeline, and then we just edit out a few things, and that's what Andrew does when he is recording, so you can say kind of how that process goes. Yeah, yeah, so I just, uh, you know, put all the footage on the timeline, and then just play it through and find uh, the spots that we want to have in the main uh, episode and then do some of the different transitions but then I leave some of the more fancy special effects stuff for Jefferson right over here yes those are those are tricky but basically tracking the camera if we want the if we want something to link up with this with text to follow things like that we we do a, a more fancier polish so it feels like it's integrated so actually with Andrew here we're always coordinating where we say, hey, if you have something, pretend that whatever's there actually exists. And so we're having that connection as well. So he can like when feel the lesson, like he's doing When the lesson appears right here, I got to pretend like it's there. That's what you're talking yeah, about, right? Basically. Yeah. Boom. So, so. Lo lots of things like that. We're really trying to refine the um, seamlessness. So when you see something, it doesn't feel out of place. It actually feels intentional. So I believe that's good stuff. My side. Yeah. Thanks for explaining yeah. that, guys. You guys rock. Well, thank you so much, guys, for giving us a short tour of how it looks like there. Um, you guys are like the perfect trio. There's one that um, that's the face of your channel, and then the other Andrew is the cutter, and then the uh, and then Jefferson is like the motion graphics guy. He's the one that deals with the After Effects and all of these um, creative softwares that actually does a lot of tweaking and tweaking and tweaking here and there. So aside from your Sabbath School videos, you also mentioned in our previous um, video chat that, that, that you have other segments in your channel. So what is the long-term plan and and what do you hope to do in the next three or five years with your YouTube ministry? That's, that's a tough question. Um, but one thing that I think we figured out first, question of what's the future plans that we have, like the, where we see ourselves. Um, when we started this, this was right during COVID when it was picking up and it's been a struggle making sure that we're COVID safe and being able to record in the same spaces and basically um, isolating ourselves so we you know, would be in the same protected bubble to be able to record and now getting vaccinated. So that was a tough challenge, but I felt like this was that opportunity that we needed, right? This thing that now, even though it's tough, might as well do something, right? A lot of people staying at home. That's where it began, but the goal, and this is something that's happened for years before that I think the three of us have shared and that I kind of saw this connection with them and what they wanted to do, which was we want to make content, high quality content that can captivate people, that can make them really want to be a part of what we're doing, that, that truth, these Bible truths that we see and love, that it can be interesting, that it can be um, relevant and, and can apply to the, the styles and things that we normally see, why not bring that in, right? So what we're actually planning, and we kept saying this early on, the, the content that we were making that we haven't released yet, is that better quality, which takes 
so much more time. I mean, we all work full time and we're just coming on the side to do this. That goal is to make movies, to make um, more shows. We already have two other shows in the works that we're trying to build up to so we have enough so we don't have to keep rushing to do any of this last minute. What we don't want is to start and then stop. So that's the goal. We want to increase that quality every step of the way. So Sabbath School Short is like that baseline that we know we can do easily each time, each week. And that's just scratching the surface. We have so much more planned. Thank you so much for sharing your vision of your ministry in the next three or five years and what you guys are trying to accomplish is really something passion, um, fascinating. Um, and you guys have really the passion for online and also media ministry. Hey, Andrew, the host, Jefferson, Jefferson, and also another Andrew. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode. It was really nice chatting with you guys. And before we end this episode, please let your future viewers know where they can find you online. Where can y'all find us online? Well, obviously our YouTube channel, Advent Blueprint. Go look that up. Go look at all the videos. Um, we have a lot going on there. But also, too, we are working on launching our website, adventblueprint.com, which actually also played a part in our name because it was a domain that was available. Um, but we're waiting to launch that until we have a little bit more um, of, a, of a hub of kind of things that we can share on Advent Blueprint that also aligns with our mission. We really want Advent Blueprint to almost kind of be like, like a Netflix, but for Christian content where other other people that are doing other kinds of ministries can come into Advent Blueprint and say, hey, we want to post this on your website and that people come to this website to view all kinds of Christian content that aligns with that high quality that Jefferson was talking about that we want to produce where these Bible truths are being shared in a really thought-provoking, engaging way that actually causes feelings within us and causing us to think critically and all these kinds of things with these different content. Uh, we love for Advent Blueprint, the website specifically, to be that hub where people go to where they can find all of that really high quality content. So that's kind of the future with the website. Like I said, we haven't launched it yet because that's really what we want it to become, but it's coming sometime in the future. We aren't sure yet. We're working on it, but we can keep you updated with that. But tune into our YouTube channel. That's where you'll mainly find us and be able to engage with us. And any last words to your future viewers? Gil, thank you so much for having us on your channel today. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and we are just super excited um, to be um, with you here. So just thank you so much, Gil. And we hope to catch you guys on the next Sabbath School Short. And we'll see you then. Once again, Andrew Jefferson and the other Andrew, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys are fun, engaging, and you also have a very promising future because you guys create really good content and also high quality videos. So to all the viewers, don't forget to check out their YouTube channel, subscribe to it, and also wait for the launch of their Advent, Advent Blueprint website. And if you like this video, so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, then subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.